Well, the court wants to know whether she was using her system to avoid the Freedom of Information Act. Uh, the court wants to know where all of her emails are. And the court wants to know, as it relates to the Justice Department and the State Department, whether they were trying to game the courts and hide emails from the court uh, in order to shut her case down without anyone knowing about her emails. So she's going to have to answer, if, if, if the court allows it, uh, questions about this. You know, it was this case that uncovered the Clinton email scandal. We wouldn't know about it. Right. Frankly, she would be president, but for this case, it could be argued. And it's about Benghazi. The court also wants to know, well, did they hide the emails because they were worried about what might be in there about Benghazi? Right. And, uh, you know, what's also interesting, uh, the court wants to know about the involvement of the State Department and Justice Department in this potential cover-up because he wants the lawyers in the case to answer some questions about when they knew about the Clinton emails. And we've already got discovery over the last few months, Greg. You wouldn't believe it. Obama White House is involved in the cover-up. State Department warned repeatedly on her emails, concerns about underclassification in order to protect her, meaning they were putting material out there that arguably should have been classified right. because they wanted to help her protect her. Well, not her to from mention destroying 33,000 documents under congressional subpoena, which, gee, I don't know, last time I checked the criminal code is obstruction of justice. And we just uncovered that the FBI or the Justice Department gave the lawyer that did that immunity. I know. It's un well, five people that we know of got immunity by the way, in exchange for nothing, I've been a lawyer for 40 years. I've never heard of immunity in exchange for nothing. But let, let's assume you get Hillary Clinton under oath in a deposition. You realize, Tom, that she's going to pull the same routine she always pulls, uh, which is feigned ignorance and chronic amnesia. This is what she did in her FBI interview uh, back in 2016. She, she said, I don't know, I don't recall to almost everything. She could remember her name and date of birth, and that was about the extent of it. What this is going to, there's going to be a court looking at her testimony, so there will be accountability if her testimony uh, is not credible. And uh, I, I just want to highlight the, because it's all tying together, because the Clinton email scandal is the reason we have Russiagate. They needed to cover her and protect her. So let's concoct this uh, smear against President Trump to distract the DOJ and Justice Department uh, during the campaign and, frankly, into the Trump presidency. This Justice Department was in court on behalf of this State Department arguing against additional questioning on these issues last week. Yeah. So we are fighting the Justice Department to get more answers on the Clinton yeah, email scandal. They're protecting her still. Unbelievable. And, and, then, and then we get the announcement this week that James Comey gets a get-out-of-jail-free card from the same yeah. Justice Department. It is infuriating. It is infuriating. I was talking a moment ago with Byron York. I mean, he could have been charged with theft of government documents because he clearly did that. That's a, a, a crime. It's a felony. Could have been charged with mishandling classified documents because one of the documents... He leaked uh, to his lawyers was classified. Um, it, doesn't President Trump have actually a very good point? We played a clip a few minutes ago in which he said, look, this does demonstrate that William Barr is reasonable, he is fair, uh, and that he, unlike Comey, doesn't weaponize his position of power. Oh, I think President Trump's being... Uh, kind. Uh, Kind. Uh, I, I think Attorney General Barr made a terrible decision. I agree. And I don't think um, there's going to be any prosecutions on Spygate. We had a coup targeting the president. Comey stole and leaked his FBI files to try to destroy him, created the Mueller monster, and uh, there's no accountability yet. Uh, this IG yeah. report is terrible, but it's not going to stop Comey from continuing to earn millions oh, yeah. uh, doing whatever he's doing. There are no consequences for James Comey. He, you know, he went out and peddled a book and made millions. He, you know, uh, is not going to be held account for what, to me, are clear crimes. What kind of a message does that send to others in federal agencies, not just the FBI, but the CIA uh, and, and all of the alphabet-lettered bureaucracy that, you know, you can break the law with impunity and there are no consequences? Yeah, and it's interesting. You laid out the potential crimes of James Comey, which match almost one for one the crimes that Mrs. Clinton should have been prosecuted for as well. Uh, this Justice Department, and, and, and you know, I respect Attorney General Barr, uh, but I think he uh, does not understand how far 
out of touch and how fall, how fallen the Justice Department has become because of the per corrupt partisanship of uh, too yeah. many of its lawyers you know, and leadership. I, I've got 30 seconds left, but Mark Zaid, who is a uh, national security law expert, said, um, you know, it's hard to prosecute Comey because you'd have to prosecute just about everybody else because this kind of conduct is so rampant in our bureaucracy. That's a sad commentary, isn't it? Well, you know, we just had a report out. You may have seen 14 leaks by uh, FBI senior officials, FBI agents and such. Not one prosecution. We're still waiting on the Andrew McCabe uh, lie and leak prosecution that was referred to the Justice Department 18 months ago, I Greg. It's unbelievable. I, you know, you know and, and juxtapose how quickly special counsel Robert Mueller was accusing people uh, of crimes, including Michael Flynn, who committed no crime, and yet he faced the dock. Tom Fitton, thank you very much. This is, this is why we have Judicial Watch. Yes, thank you very much. Good work. You're welcome, Greg. Thank you.